Hey guys, what's up? Uh, we're going to drain the filter caps on a JCA 22H today. Uh, some things that you'll need for this are a multimeter. You will need a pair of pliers with rubber grips. Make sure they have rubber grips uh, to protect yourself. And you'll need a resistor. So I've purchased a cement resistor. That's the, the rectangle looking white cement resistor and uh, I've got a hundred ohm 10 watt version of that and uh, you can buy it in higher ohms so that that's fine it just takes longer to to drain it uh, but you're talking seconds not it's not really a long time and then uh, make sure you get a higher watt uh, version uh, 10 watts or, or, or even more it's safer I'm also uh, have a pack of uh, Alligator clips, uh, so these little uh, multicolored test leads. Uh, you can buy those for, for a couple of bucks because uh, I'm using them to uh, basically um, clip to the uh, clip to the resistor. All right, so on the ultra ranging multimeter, uh, we'll turn that on, and uh, I guess really step the first step in, in draining draining this would be to make sure that your amplifier is not plugged in. If you're going to be working on your amplifier, with the exception of setting your bias, your amplifier needs to be um, unplugged. Do not work on your amplifier with it plugged in. With the exception of uh, setting your bias, you need, you need the electricity to do that. By the way, on the JC22H, uh, here's, the, uh, here's, the, here's the bias wheel there. You move it um, back or back or forth around the around the little the little wheel here to uh, set the bias. Uh, Alright, so if you're going to be working on your amplifier, let's say like doing a, doing a mod, um, then here's what you, here's what you want to do to test uh, for voltage. Alright, so uh, I got my positive lead here, multimeter on, and the negative the negative lead is attached to the alligator clip, and the alligator clip is attached to the chassis. So the chassis is the, is the ground. All right. <clears throat> now with my positive lead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to check uh, voltage on pin one of any preamp tube. So what the heck does that mean? All right. Well, you probably figured out that um, there is five preamp tubes in the JCA22H. And uh, here you can see a little circle of solder leads. See that? Well, on the other side of that, that's that's a preamp tube. And that's preamp tube number. You guessed it, three. And then pin number one would be this one right here. Okay. So with my um, positive lead uh, attached to pin number one, or touching pin number one, and my negative lead uh, attached to the chassis, then. My auto ranging multimeter uh, says that we're at zero uh, millivolts. So that's uh, basically without electricity. Uh, I hear anything under 10 volts is uh, is acceptable, but uh, it's easy enough to drain it to zero, and that's and that's definitely better. So um, anyway, that's how you, that's how you would check for voltage. So at this point. There's no draining of the filter caps needed. Uh, there is no there is no voltage. And you can check in uh, a couple other places. So, for example, a uh, cap, and uh, you can see it went up to 95, but that's millivolts. That's not volts. It's millivolts. So um, that's not that's under under like 0.1 volt. So again, here's a here's 0.2 volts which is different from like 2 volts. This is 0.2 volts there. And, uh, and you can also, so that I was touching the, uh, this cap over here. Uh, just touching various places on the amps so you can see what, uh, what electricity is in there. Um, so at this point, you know, I can, I can take my finger and I can, and I can you know, touch, touch any, of this, any of this equipment and without it shocking me. Um, now, to check your uh, plate voltage, by the way, um, the so a wire is coming off of the output transformer, so it comes right. These wires coming right out of here. 
uh, red, uh, blue, brown, uh, those wires, you can use those to check, uh, check your plate voltage. So here's the red wire, in this case my red wire changes to yellow, and then uh, right there it uh, goes, into, goes onto the board. So I can use my, um, put my positive lead there if the amplifier was on, and I read my plate voltage. All right, well that's uh, how to drain the filter caps on your JCA 22 h um, The next part of this video is uh, just to show you um, exactly what happens uh, with different, um, um, with your amplifier on and plugged in. I want you to see uh, the voltage there. So I, I have turned my amplifier off and I took it out and uh, put the standby on and I am plugging the amplifier in. Again, do not do this uh, if you're actually working on your on your amplifier. This is just to just for test purposes, so you can see um, what what's happening with the voltage. Okay, again, do not work on your amplifier with it plugged in. Okay, and do not probe anything in your amplifier uh, with uh, the power switch actually on. So I'm going to turn my power on. There you go. Wait just a minute, I'll take it out of standby. Hang on. Okay, there we go. All right, so uh, with the uh, with the amplifier just on, but in standby, uh, so again, we can check the uh, plate voltage over here and notice that there is no plate voltage. We've got Point three five volts. Point three five. And over here on the preamp tube, so pin number one, we got point four volts. So you can see some of the electricity starting to starting to creep in there. But again, um, it's point four volts, not four volts. So when I take it out of standby. Then uh, what we can do, we can we can test test for voltage here. For example, so here's here's the red wire coming off the output transformer to yellow, and so when I touch it here, you can see that it jumps to 387 volts. So that's enough to uh, stop your heart. So you you really want to make sure you know what know what you're doing. Uh, again, if you're working on your amplifier, make sure that it's unplugged. Okay, so and then on my uh, preamp tubes here, let's go ahead and check that. So again, here's a uh, preamp tube number three. I'm just using three because it's right in the middle of the board. It's you can use any of them. Okay. Well, here I'll show you. So um, touching pin number one, and then you can see here that uh, voltage jumps up to 286 volts. 286 volts. Cool. All right. So now, um, here's what happens. I'm gonna go ahead and leave. Uh, I'm gonna wedge my positive lead uh, here on the uh, plate voltage. All right. Now, watch what happens when I turn the amplifier off. So I'm just flipping the blue switch. So 50, 30, 10, 20, 9, 8, 7, 6. So my voltage just is dropping off there just rapidly. Three, so forth. Um, now I can touch, so let's touch uh, again pin one. Uh, so at this point I'm at two volts, almost three volts. I still don't want to touch anything. Um, that's, I'm just not comfortable with, with doing that. At, uh, you know, here under 10 is okay, but um, I don't want any shock. Uh, and again, it, it's still plugged in, so I would I would never um, touch anything in here with with my hands with, with it plugged in. Okay, I'm just doing this to show you where where the, what's happening with the voltage. Now um, I'm going to turn my standby switch on again here, um, or put it in into standby, and I'm going to turn the power on. So again, you can see the. Uh, 
uh, the voltage come come right back. I'm going to wedge my positive lead in here again and take it out of standby. So again it goes up to the plate voltage uh, for the JCA22 so that's about 380 somewhere in, somewhere in there. And then this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, just instead of turning it off I'm going to take it, uh, I'm going to put the standby on so I'm going to put it into standby. Notice that it takes a lot longer for the voltage to drain. So that standby is kind of blocking the voltage for, from draining. It's gradually draining, but, uh, but it, it takes, takes quite a bit. So we're still at 20 volts here, uh, and it's been like 10 seconds or so. So um, you can kind of see how that, how that happens. Um, and then uh, same thing, so the amplifier is on. Uh, but the standby switch is it's in, in standby. And I'm going to check preamp tube uh, number three, pin number one, and you can see I still have um, a couple of volts in there, two volts. So let's uh, we haven't used the resistor at all at this point, but I'm going to show you uh, what that what that looks like. So I'm going to turn it, um, put the amplifier into, um, take it out of standby. So it's charging up everything on the board. The capacitor is receiving energy and storing it. Now, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, um, take the amplifier out of stand out of standby. I'm going to put the standby on rather, and then I'm going to turn the power off. So. There's a. Well, let's do do this. Hang on. I'm turn things back on here. So I'm gonna wedge. Um, I'm gonna try to place this. Oh. I'm gonna wedge this uh, on there where it reads the plate voltage. And now I'm going to grab the uh, resistor so you can see what happens uh, when you take it you actually use the resistor to drain the caps so again plenty of voltage in there I'm going to um, quickly take it up put it into standby and turn the power off and you can see the plate, plate voltage start to drop but watch what happens when I uh, touch it see how it, it instantly goes down to millivolts So what happens is it's draining uh, the electricity out of the amp through the resistor to ground. Let's do that again. Okay, so uh, there's my plate voltage. Again, I'm not touching the resistor, I'm touching the rubber handles here. Um, so I'm going to put it into standby and then turn it off. See how it instantly drops it from volts to millivolts? Oops, there we go. Better reattach it there. There we go. And then uh, you can just keep it on there for about 10 seconds. So I've, what I've got, I've got my resistor, and I'm just touching the same place where I have my lead. Um, in this case, that's where the read the plate voltage off of the output transformer. I'm just doing that because that was a convenient place to put the lead. Um, what uh, people generally recommend is to leave it on pin number one on the preamp tube while you uh, drain the voltage out. And leave it on there for uh, you know, a good 10 seconds, a minute, whatever. But um, as you can see, um, I mean, even with the amplifier plugged in, I've got uh, 43 millivolts uh, going on, so it's safe to touch. But uh, we're not going to touch anything in here with the amplifier plugged in. All right, that's how to uh, drain the filter caps on the JCA22H um, using some of the common uh, uh, tools and ways to do that.